not gonna use them. There we go. Refile out in Pindo, Kashia Makasi, Nkodi Primary. Nkodi. Nkodi. Yes. Right? Your school. Yes. Wow, beautiful stuff. Why are we here? Um, we are here at the Nkodi Primary School to give back to the school for the foundation that they have laid in my life. Um, I went to school here from grade one until seven and I've been um, a good product of the school. Um, you know, the motto of the school is to greater heights. And I think it's what I've been showcasing in my career, reaching greater heights. So today we were here to give out um, school shoes, thanks to NetBank, to give out um, food parcels from Debonez, Maponya. Um, we were here to give out netball kit from Schools Netball Association, soccer kit from Sassuolo Football Club, and also thanks to VW Maponya for helping us in transporting all of these equipments to and from the school and even the personnel. I'm, I'm looking at you, you're standing behind your own, um, I mean behind you there's the Filo Jane outreach, your banner there, your pull-up banner is there. Why is it important for people in your position to give back to their previous and current life? Uh, it's very important to give back to the communities that we come from. Um, we touch so many lives. Um, if you become a living example, it becomes easier for the kids or for the youth to have someone to look up to because we are from here, so we can see what you have done, we can see where you come from. So if Refilo, for example, from Pinville, from Clip Town succeeded, then it shows that it's possible. So it's important for people who are out there who have succeeded, who have gone through the ranks to come back to their communities and uplift their communities. If you can look at the memories that you had when you walked into the school and you saw the Bikinya and Adilimo and you are coming bearing gifts for them, what came to your mind? I was full of emotions when I came into the school. Um, when I went and said hello to the kids, I was overfilled with emotions. When I saw them greeting me, saying my name, seeing the uniform, seeing the premises of the school. Now, you came with your parents. Other kids don't have parents. Other parents are there. Let me just be honest with you. And you came here. You brought shoes, school shoes. You brought educator, educational material. Your Lego blocks and all of that. Each class will get a box of that. That is changing lives for IR. We're going into that. Yes. Technology plays a big part, and you are part of this school, and they, they, they are benefiting from that. You stay overseas in Italy. Looking at the child, and looking at the child in your hood in Italy, there's a vast difference. Bridging the gap is very important. Is this what Refila looks at doing going forward, that you keep on changing the technology, the life of the young child, Wamukas? Yes, um, doing the work that we do, it only doesn't stop here today. We want to try and reach as many communities as much as we can. Um, having seen the differences that we face in our communities and what I go through overseas, there's a huge difference, but it's the minor details. You mentioned um, family support. It plays a huge role. Um, it's important for parents to go out there and see what their kids do, you know, um, be there, support them whatever passion that they have, invest in it and try to see them off, find role models along the fields that they do so that they can have people that they look up to. Um, the teachers will be trained also with the Lego blocks. Um, there's a, a, a system that's being introduced of robotics. So they're going to get training in that and from grade four until seven, they're going to each class get their own building blocks from Lego and enter into competitions. Who knows where they'll end up in the future. VW Maponya is my home and it's definitely your home for today. Um, they, I just got a message that they say working with you will probably not end here today. A local business dealer that says we will transport Refilwe and her project, that must be a big one for you. It's very big of uh, VW to come on board and be like, we support what you are doing. We align with the values and the missions that you share for the outreach. We share the same values. And for us, 
to better our communities, we need to come together and we need to be seen in the, in the, in the communities that we come from. And seeing VW Maponya coming back and showcasing that support in the, the way that they are supporting the, the foundation, the outreach in terms of um, transportation, in terms of movement of equipment, in terms of personnel, it says a lot. And you know, we, the youth, um, so much into the, the, the Vrupa. So to align with such a brand, um, it means a lot for the outreach for me as an individual. And we hope in future we can have more collaborations. I can certainly believe it's gonna happen. Your first season in Osasuna, just to go, go back there, how has it been? My first season at Sasuolo has been an exciting one. Uh, it's been a while since I, I spoke about my football career and put a smile on it. Uh, I'm playing my best football at the moment. I'm having the time of my life, um, regardless um, of coming out like position six. It wasn't, it wasn't easy start to the season because of the changes in personnel in terms of players, bringing in young players, um, bringing in international players. It wasn't easy to gel at the beginning, but eventually halfway through the season until the end, we came together and we were playing the best football ever. So that season has been quite a fruitful one to say. Of short, I'm looking at the young boys and girls wearing the kit that you donated. Such a beautiful kit. What can you say to the club for actually donating this and making them look different from the way you looked when you started playing football because you never had a beautiful kid like this. Yes, um, I would like to give so much um, gratitude and credit to Sassuolo for coming on board and helping me with my outreach. Um, when I send them a, 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 when I send them the proposal, they were so excited that they even made me meet other people who would be of help to the outreach. So I would like to say thank you to Sassuolo Football Club um, for the kit that they donated today. Um, the kids, I'm, I'm sure they're going to play their best football. They'll be having smiles on their faces with their new kit and we're hoping that it will bring more victories to them. And thank you so much to Sassuolo Football Club. Fingers crossed for the World Cup? Fingers crossed for the World Cup. We're looking forward to the upcoming camps. Um, the team hasn't been selected yet, but we know what it takes to be at the World Cup. The ones who've been there have shared the experience with others and we're hoping that um, the team that goes to the World Cup goes with the same objective as everyone else, which is to advance to, to the next stage. Fifi, I'm just going to take you, take you back to, to Morocco, the WEFCON, winning that. Of course, your name is written in stars when it comes to the tournament. Your individual performance, your team performance, that has seen you guys to be recognized by world football as players to say South Africa if you need a female player go there and get them let me just throw this I know it's not appropriate but let me say it. Banyana Banyana export more players than Bafana Bafana that should tell us that if you're doing this so well a lot of young girls will say Refilo has done it let me do it as well your word to that young your, your, your word and message to that young girl from the street away from here who says um, firstly, I want to remind the players in the national team, in the big teams, that um, you know when we play, we don't only play for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We play for the young girl that wants to see herself playing where we are playing, or even going further than where we went to. We just want to give hope to where it's lost. We want to be living examples. To, to, to the young girl. Um, I, for one, want to be a representation. You know, We always talk about how representation matters. And for me to come back to this school, it shows that it's possible. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter your circumstances. If you get the right support, the right, um, I would say, let me use the term support in holistic, that anything is possible you'll never know where you can get you'll never know where you can find yourself in the future so my advice to the young girl is to never lose hope always dream big work towards your goals stay humble stay respectful and anything is possible your parents are here and go born when i want a papa not even anywhere near your mother what have those guys done for you for you to be here my parents have played a very huge role in the person that i am today um, 
I'm a mixture of my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I'm more leaning towards my dad, but uh, I, I, I am in, in, into both of them. And the teachings that they've taught me growing up, they, my dad always emphasizes being humble, um, being respectful, no matter age, no matter background, no matter where you come from. The most important thing is respect. He always emphasizes it and being humble. Um, you know, it's easy to get carried away when you've made it, when you've been seen all over the world. And for that, you, for you to come back and do such initiatives, it's also blessings into your life. So with that, I, I, I want to say thank you to my parents for the support. Not only them, my siblings are here also. They are helping with, with the outreach. My partner also is helping. I was going to get to that because, you know, you, you, you're balanced. I mean, everything, everything is happening around you. I was going to leave that for the last, but now you put it there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it, it's important to have balance, you know, in life. Um, the right balance, to, 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 to put it like that. People who know what you want in life, people who know what they want in life, and people who will support your goals, um, no matter how far-fetched they may seem, they will wake up with you and be like, we know your dream, let's make your dream work. Behind you, um, you might not see them. The kids are being, you know, photographed, doing interviews on their own, with your dad watching on. Um, it's such a beautiful day, the film, it's such a beautiful time that, you know, not only them, but I mean, you've got media people are here. I see Center Circle is here. <laughs> but, but, Rufilo, going to bed at night, what does all this say to you as we wrap it up? You know, this thing, um, it didn't make me sleep at night. No matter how many times I tried to run away from it, um, this dream to change people's lives is something that's in me. I can try to postpone it, I can try to run away from it, but it always comes back to me. And I think it's a, it's a gift from above. Um, God is trusting me with the work to go out there to change people's lives. I always pray that God may use me as a vessel to change people's lives, and this is part of it. Um, whether in the football field, playing there, and someone seeing me and be like, if Rufilo got there, then it's possible for me to get there. It changes someone's lives. Today we come here to share our experiences. It's changing people's lives. So I would like to think that um, it's a gift from above more than anything. And having the right support to, to, to advance the dream is really important. <laughs>